Hello, good morning, Mary. So, can we start the mock interview now? If you're ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, let's start the interview from a little bit introduction about yourself. Please introduce yourself. Yes. Sir, I am Sonali Naji. I belong to Nagar I have done schooling from Sarapati Sister Vidya Mandir Nagarpur. I have also done my plus two science career from Government Academy School in Bhavan Patna. I have done my graduation in biotechnology from AMIT Kodha Bhumeshwar. My hobbies are playing piano and listening songs. My aim is to be civil servant. Thank you, sir. What about your family? My my father is a government servant and my mother my, my mother is a outsider. Your father is a government servant, right? Yes, sir. In which department he is working? Sir, in forest department, Kerala division, sir. Forest department, okay. So you have completed your schooling from Saraswati Shishu Vidya Mandir, right? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me something about Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Tell me something about Shama Prasad Mukherjee. No problem. So, uh, you have completed your graduation in biotechnology, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, tell me some important information related to biotechnology. I mean, in which field we can use biotechnology for betterment of human life? What are the uses of biotechnology for betterment of human life? Uh, sir, uh, uh, we can use a process called biomediation. Bio we can clean the environment by using microbes, uh, microbes, bacteria, all these things. Uh, and also, sir, for well water management, uh, by which we can uh, clean the water, uh, clean the water uh, uh, by with, uh, Sir, polluted. Sir, can I speak in Hindi, sir? Okay, okay. Carry on, carry on. Yes, no problem. Sir, water is polluted. Our contaminants do not have the proper clean, but we are by the process with water management, sir. Also, I mean, multiple crops. I mean, so breeding for it, I mean, use for it, sir. Another thing is. Sir, if recently you have back to the COVID in law, it is this, uh, it is a biotech company. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you talked about bioremediation. What do you mean by micro-remediation? Sir, micro-remediation. Micro, yeah. Micro-remediation. Can we use fungus to decontaminate a site? Can we use fungus to decontaminate a site? Yes, yes sir. Yes, what sir. We, we can use fungus. That is called uh, sir, my, my, <laughs> no, no, my point is, is it possible or not to use fungus to decontaminate a site? Yes, sir, it is possible, sir. No problem. Go through different types of decontaminations that you can use by using bacteria, by using fungus. Go through it, okay? Okay. Uh, so, you have given here, your hobbies are singing songs or listening to songs. Sir, listening songs, sir. Listening songs. Okay. Uh, tell me something about Hindustani vocal music. The types of music, uh, sir. Hindustani vocal music. music. Yes. Hindustani Hindustani vocal sir, music. Sir, classical music. Okay. The classical and No problem. You belong to the KBK region, right? 
what are the yes. different issues that the Quebec region is facing? Especially, please focus on the socio-economic issues that Quebec region is facing. The main thing is the poverty. Okay. Poverty, the edu sir, education, health and sanitation problem is there, sir. Okay. Health, sir. Healthcare, sanitation, the water problem also is there, sir. Uh, people cannot get proper uh, fresh water to use. Are you aware about left wing extremism? Mm, no, no, sir. Have you ever heard the term Maoist? Have you ever heard the term Maoist? Maoading ko na suni chandi? Yes, sir. कौन जानी छंदे माओवादी को ऊपर व्हाट आर देयर ऑफ देयर द पीपल सच में तो मैं ऑब्जेक्टिव है मैं जहां सोशल में जहां प्रॉब्लम है जो तो मैंने गवर्नमेंट प्रॉपर इट सॉल्व कर पा रही है मैंने सिर्फ पॉइंट को लेकर रख कर के सर जो तो मैंने इंप्लीमेंट है पर जो तो पॉलिसी स्कीम जो है वो मतलब लेवल पे जाके पहुंच पा रही है मैं नो नो प्लीज गो थ्रू दब्जेक्टिव एक्सट्रीमिजम दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ रोमांटिक इल्यूजन इन द माइंड ऑफ यंग एस्पिरेंट्स दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ रोमांटिक इल्यूजन इन द माइंड ऑफ यंगस्टर्स दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट वर्किंग फॉर देम but in literal field in the practical field they are not working for the socio economic development of the country their objective is red flag from red fort by 2050 power runs from the barrel of gun is their basic slogan so go through all these things you are not properly aware no problem so uh, coming back to uh, what are your optional subjects Sociology and public administration, sir. Sociology and public administration, right? Yes, okay. sir. Tell me, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts very absolutely. Ki koi thele? Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts very absolutely. Yes, no problem. By Sir John Dalberg Acton, John Acton. Yes. Yes. Are you aware about the post car view? Post car view. Yes. It was given by Gullick and Gullick. No. Need and hierarchy theory. Sir, hierarchy theory. Sir, can I explain hierarchy theory? Yes, 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 yes. Please continue. in an organization division of uh, work by lower to higher or higher to lower that is called hierarchy in a proper manner uh, the division of work between no no read it properly who is father of public administration who is uh, so, uh, sorry uh, wilson wilson withdraw wilson withdraw yes, from the father of public administration right okay what do you know about the 73rd and the 74th constitutional amendment act which forced us participate in democracy for for the 73rd amendment act sir what are the objectives of these two constitutional amendment acts What are the objective of these two acts? The lo local level, uh, lo sir, it is called local government. Uh, local level, the uh, root level, the that is, 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 that What are the different stages of a public policy?
you are not able to recollect it no problem so tell me something about the preamble to the constitution of india the preamble is uh, given by the soul of the constitution uh, uh, it is uh, it is given by jawaharlal nehru by by objective visual uh, modified form of objective visual is called preamble is the preamble just a fact in nature yes sir just yes sir it is just no sir it is not just a server can it be amended can the preamble be amended mm, preamble can be amended sir yes or no yes sir okay yes sir and the certificates by the yes sir and the certificates it is Uh, as of now, how many times has the preamble been amended? So one time, I, I think. Which constitutional so amendment time. act? Which constitutional amendment? Seven, seventy, seventy two, nineteen fifty. No, no. It was amended through Forty Second Constitutional Amendment Act. Three keywords have been inserted. Forty Second Amendment. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Forty Second Amendment, nineteen seventy-six, sir. Okay. There is a keyword in the preamble yes, that is justice, social, economic, and political justice. Yes, sir. Three types of justice are there. Yes. What do you mean by justice? What is social justice? Social justice means that. सोसाइटी में जहां भी सब प्रॉब्लम आती है सर तब को मैं जस्टिफाई करके समाज को न्याय दबाने का इट इज कॉल्ड सोशल जस्टिस ओके देन व्हाट इज इकोनॉमिक जस्टिस सर सपोज सपोज ए इको इकोनॉमिक लेवल पे सर समाज को इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी मिले विदाउट एनी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन रिगार्डिंग स्टार्टअप एंड स्टार्टअप एंड okay another uh, one of your optional is sociology tell me some social problems that is prevalent in rural india social problems that is prevalent in rural india sir uh, poverty is main thing rural area mein poverty is there sir health care also sir child labor also sir Poverty. What are different causes of poverty? Sir, main education, sir, education and part, uh, uh, education. Uh, then, sir, healthcare. And sir, proper sanitation and water facility also, sir. It is a cause of poverty. How so how proper sanitation and water facility? How does it lead to poverty? Sir, uh, जब वो properly water से मैंने साइड हाइड्रेट नहीं की कि नॉर्मल जैसे सर उनमें भी इस पॉस्ट पर डिजिस सर। Okay. What is the second social issue that you discussed? What is the second social issue that you discussed? Sir, health, health, health facilities, sir, and education. Education. Okay. How do you yeah. see NEP, New Education Policy, as a reformatory step by the government of India to reform and to revitalize the Indian educational system? What are your views related to new uh, education policy? Sir, uh, new education, sir, new. न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी से मैंने ऐड कर दी जैसे करिकुलर करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज सब जो जो तक से निजर सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट रे स्टूडेंट्स मन को हेल्प करबो सर ताकि निजर फील्ड चूज करके समय से सही से जाय करबे सर से मैंने आईटी एंड कंप्यूटर सेक्टर भी सर ऐड कर दी इन क्लास सेवन टू सर आई गेस सर मन मन पढ़ो नहीं ओके आर यू हैव अबाउट सर्व शिक्षा अभियान What are the objectives? Okay, 
ठीक अच्छे सोशियोलोजी अप्सनाल हिसाब से मत कहत व्हाट आर डिफरेन्ट सोशल इश्यूज दैट वुमेन आर फेसिंग इन रूरल रूरल एरिया रूरल एरिया रे वुमेन माने कौन सोशल प्रॉब्लम फेस करू चंती लेट से अपन वेस्ट क्वालिफाई करो चंदे वेस्ट क्वालिफाई कर ला परे जानी थी वे दी टा पोस्ट पे अपन को जॉब मिली पर एक उटे तौसिल्दार कोटे वीडियो जानी चंदे तौसिल्दार बा बेड वीडियो है वे अपन को क्वालिफाई कर ला परे व्हाट इस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फंक्शन ऑफ़ ए तौसिल्दार एंड अ वीडियो Okay. What are the social issues that LGBTQ community are facing? Are you aware about the LGBTQ community? No, sir, I'm not aware about it. Not aware about it. What are the administrative reforms that you will suggest as a bureaucrat to be implemented by government of Odisha? Sir, jaldi se wo policy hai na, usse to wo jaldi kya udin jete jaldi maine kua logo ko apna kaun karo ki tribal people ko apna jete kaun se karo sir, it it is भागीदारी करपशन को रिड्यूस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ओडिशा गोटे स्कीम अच्छी फाइव टी स्कीम ताप्रे जानि छन किछ सर फाइव टी स्कीम सर यस ओडिशा गवर्नमेंट सर सर अनदर टी इज एडेड व्हिच इज कॉल्ड 60 मंथ इट इज कॉल्ड सर टीम वर्क टीम वर्क ट्रांसपेरेंसी टाइम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू एंड अनदर वन इज टेक्नोलॉजी सर Okay. Are you aware about the second ARC, Second Administrative Reform Commission? No, sir. I have read, but I read about it. Sir, optional ticket, sir. Optional, optional. Okay. 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 What is the basic difference between GDP and GNP? Current sir, related issues there, Chanti. The gross domestic product and net gross net now. What is the difference? What is the difference? जीडीपी में सर टोटल टोटल नेशनल इनकम नॉट एबल टू रिकलेक्टेड ओके व्हाट आर द सोशल इश्यूज ऑफ योर रीजन 
what are different social problems of your region of your village specifically let's talk about your village okay sir uh, social issues sir uh, yes. in our village sir yes जान <laughs> एजुकेशन में पार्टिसिपेट करके मे भी से फ्यूचर स्किल इंडिया पार्टिसिपेट कर रिप्रेजेंट कर so it was nice to nice to meet meet you and it was end of your interview uh, i'll come back to you with your feedbacks ami feedback jaha jaachi ta pare pare discuss kariyo now you can leave the meeting thank you sir yeah thank you very much you can leave the meeting now हेलो सर हेलो मैनी गुड मॉर्निंग प्लीज टर्न ऑन योर वीडियो यस सर सो प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ गुड मॉर्निंग सर माई सेल्फ मनिका मिश्रा Uh, I basically belongs to Malvan district uh, from Baipada. Uh, I have done my schooling and twelfth uh, at Baipada itself. Uh, then I have moved to Bhubaneswar for my graduation and uh, I have graduated from Maharshi College of Natural Law. Then I have done my post graduation from Asian Institute of Public Health from Bhubaneswar itself. Okay, what are the subjects in graduation? सर जुलॉजी राइट यस सर ओके व्हाट अबाउट द मास्टर डिग्री इट इज एमपीएच मास्टर इन पब्लिक हेल्थ नो सर इट्स आल्सो मास्टर इन जुलॉजी इज एमएस इन जुलॉजी यस हम्म ओके व्हाट अबाउट योर फैमिली सर माय फैमिली रिसाइड्स इन बायपदा Uh, my father is uh, headmaster hmm. in uh, Bharatpur High School. Okay. Yes, sir. And my mother is a housewife. Okay. What are your hobbies? Ah, uh, sir, uh, my hobbies are uh, sir. I love to feed the stray animals. Ah, uh, and uh, in the leisure time, I love to spend uh, uh, time with my family. That's what I consider. Okay. What are your optional subjects? Sir, my optional subjects are botany and zoology. Okay. Right, right. So, coming to your hobbies, you uh, love to yes. feed the animals, street animals, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. There is an act related to cru- uh, cruelty to the animals. Cruelty to the animals. Yes, sir. Right? Are you aware about that? Uh, Protection of animals from cruelty. 
sir uh, i have uh, read about that but uh, now what i cannot recall it sir do you think the animal laws that we have in india are sufficient to protect the animals sir uh, and now it is uh, uh, most of the people are ever uh, that uh, we should protect the stray animals or street animals as uh, they are also the uh, i mean uh, Uh, they, they are also the uh, protector of the biodiversity too. But sir, the norms, uh, in my opinion, are not that extent to sufficient uh, to protect them, sir. Okay. What measures we need as a reform, or what are the reformative measures that we need in this regard? Sir, um, uh, according to me, sir, uh, if there is uh, norms. uh basically to protect such animals then it should be more uh, uh, i mean getting into the uh, look of the common people or public that so that uh, they could uh, be aware of the uh, their protection and uh, uh, the <coughs> norms should be implemented uh, i mean strictly the so any norm before it uh, coming into force Uh, the public should be aware ever uh, about that norms uh, basically sir awareness is much needed there is a game jalli kattu in south india it is very famous should it be continued or not as a cruelty to the animals the jalli kattu sir uh, hmm. sir i cannot answer sir okay no problem are you aware about the red data book Yes, sir. Oh, it is published by. Sir, IUCN, sir. IUCN. So, in red data book, there is a condition for extinct, extinct species. What is the condition? Mm, sir, extinct uh, species are uh, uh, those species uh, according to red data book, uh, which are. Um, very very few in numbers or uh, almost uh, in the extinct condition in a particular uh, area where they are found uh, that uh, area sir uh, the area measurement uh, i cannot recall it sir okay no problem uh, what is the difference between wildlife sanctuary and a national park mm. so uh, in a uh, national park uh, the <clears throat> vulnerable species are conserved uh, but in the wildlife sanctuary uh, it is uh, with that uh, uh, specific vulnerable animal or the biodiversity are also conserved okay ओडिसा रा जातीय पशु और जातीय पक्षी के सो जातीय पशु इट्स सांबर सर एंड जातीय पक्षी इट्स इंडियन रोलर और ब्लू जे ओके आर यू अवेयर अबाउट इंडियन राइनो विजन इंडियन राइनो विजन नो प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर the project tiger please brief about project tiger uh, um, sir uh, project tiger is uh, basically come into force uh, to um, measure that uh, tiger population uh, right. all over the india and um, uh, our uh, the national park the similar also uh, coming under uh, the tiger project itself uh it uh, basically the the uh, count the population of tiger and uh, how to the norms are for the protection of the tiger okay your optional papers are zoology and botany right yeah. what do you mean by a stem cell sir so, uh, stem cells are the primitive cell which are highly uh, generative in nature 
they can generate any type of cell if we done uh, any genetic modification to them uh, they can also form any type of cell okay what is the basic difference between a phytoplankton and a zooplankton mm -hmm. the so, uh, both uh, phytoplankton and zooplankton are the diversity found in aquatic ecosystem uh, but the uh, phytoplankton are the producer groups uh, that are uh, present in the um, aquatic ecosystem and uh, zooplankton are uh, basically the uh, consumer the second strata of the uh, food pyramid mm -hmm. in the aquatic ecosystem sir. what is a benthos sir uh, benthos is a uh, lower level of aquatic ecosystem sir sir according to the rising of sunlight in the uh, aquatic ecosystem or especially in the marine ecosystem the layer are uh, divisible and one of the layer is the benthos okay a uh, pyramid of energy it is always upright or it can be inverted sir pyramid of energy is always upright sir can it be inverted no sir it cannot be right right so uh, tell me something about your college you are graduated from morsi college right yes sir <coughs> morsi college mm. sir kichu kon sir mahasi college uh, that was uh, uh, established in uh, the Sorry, thank you. No problem. Sorry for the interruption. Please continue. Yes, sir. Sir, Morsi College is reside in Bhubaneswar in the Sahib Nagar area. Uh, the college uh, providing the degrees and the also the plus two courses uh, itself, and it is coming under the Utkal University, and it is one of the. Uh, one of the ancient college uh, under uh, Utkal University. Sir. That's what I remember. Sir. Okay, All right. <clears throat> what are the reforms in India that we need in the field of education sector? Sir, sir in education sector, sector, sir. Uh, sir, uh, <coughs> uh, um, in education sector, we must promote the. vocation and skill development courses uh, that is also the uh, i mean one of the criteria of the nep 2020 also so we should promote the vocation and skill with the education so that the uh, skill level will be produced and education is uh, one of the key factor to develop any society so uh, the education should be i mean the lpg models uh, when it is come into act the education uh, sector also both liberalized and privatized but to uh, globalize our education system we need to i mean inculcate the um, basic uh, skills like uh, the uh, skills uh, which are uh, and followed by our ancestor too like uh, the vocational skills of uh, uh, sir, vocational skills of carpentry or architecture and any other sector sir this should be promoted most of the time sir do you think we should include vedas and upanishad in the school curriculum 
Sir, uh, education also sir deals with uh, some ethical ethical values, and uh, and in Hinduism, uh, the Vedas and Upanishads are known for the uh, I mean, factory of the ethics and the morals. So, so some extent, sir, education also uh, promote these values too. What is the region of low literacy rate in India? Sir, low literacy rate in India. Sir, uh, India is, uh, I mean, uh, we can say the uh, diversified uh, country according to culture, religion, and also in case of economy. So the uh, realization about uh, how to educate ourselves. Sometimes uh, uh, the people of uh, deprived group or a marginalized group, they cannot be, uh, they cannot be, I mean, aware about uh, what uh, they should uh, do or uh, what education should uh, uh, be available for them. They, uh, that's, that's why they do not want to come to the mainstream or take education or to be literate. That's why sometimes it uh, the major reason of the uh, deprivation in uh, literacy rate, sir. Okay. You use the term deprivation, deprived people or marginalized section of the society. Who are they? How do you define a marginalized section? Sir, a uh, marginalized section uh, uh, are the people which are, uh, I mean, uh, which are discriminated by the mainstream society and they basically don't get the opportunity to come to the real society or the merge their culture with them and uh, no, any uh, deprived group basically they are the marginalized people. Example of a marginalized people? Example of some community? Mm. So, uh, in uh, Odisha, some of the uh, tribal communities living in the KBK district, sir, they are uh, most of the time marginalized. Sir. Can people be marginalized on the basis of caste, on the basis of gender? Uh, sir, uh, marginalization itself uh, not in the basis of gender or caste, but uh, in India there is a uh, uh, some uh, extent, yes, sir. Then what is they the base of marginalization? On what ground you can call a community as a marginalized community? Uh, sir, marginalized community, sir, semane jomane ki, I mean, basic uh, need tankar fulfill kar pa na anti, au, they belong to the below poverty line category. They belong to the below poverty line category, not the marginalization. They don't uh, in, uh, be included. You should not include them in the marginalized group. These are the people who are below the poverty line, right? Yes. Okay, you can classify marginalization on different ground on the basis of caste, these are scheduled caste or the other backward caste, on the basis of gender, these are, these are the women or third gender, on the basis of whether they are connected to the mainstream or not, they are the scheduled tribal population, on the basis of uh, or let's say economic financial condition, these are the EWS, economically weaker section, on the basis of sexual orientation, they are the LGBTQ community. So, marginalization can be classified on different grounds, right? Okay. Uh, now, let's discuss about some of the social issues that women are facing in your region. What are the social problems women are facing? Sir, so, sir uh, social problems, uh, sir, in Odisha, sir. Specifically, let's talk about your village or your district. Sir, uh, our district is the sir, most of the people are belong to the tribal community. Though they are women are, uh, I mean, uh, in uh, field of work, they are uh, sir, uh, very much, uh, they have the potential. But still the lack of sometimes awareness or education or backward family uh, system, uh, they cannot... Uh, I mean, uh, they cannot be, I mean, compete to the mainstream and uh, come to the force as far as they are uh, And uh, another social uh, 
deprivation they face is the domestic violence and uh, other is the sir, lack of education and uh, sir, any other uh, discrimination they are facing sir. okay how will your optional papers botany and zoology will help you as a bureaucrat once you are selected in opsc ocs examination sir uh, botany and zoology these are the main uh, main stream of bio biology uh, they are uh, i mean biology is uh, we can see how uh, the they are such important stream as uh, uh, in any uh, i mean discussion in nowadays going on in the bureaucrat level that is uh, any policy or uh, made by the bureaucrats that is uh, uh, that is considering the main problem that is uh, related to the environment and biodiversity also mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we can sir, integrate the our stream with the administration to i mean make better policy for the uh, environment and, and protection of biodiversity of our country sir. okay <coughs> आपण को जिल्ला रो किछि टूरिस्ट प्लेस ऊपर कोंतु सर मेन फोकस आर ऑफ आर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज द सिमिलपाल नेशनल पार्क एंड विद इन दैट द वाटरफॉल दैट इज बारीबाणी एंड जोरंदा देन द एलिफेंट रिजर्व विद इन द सिमिलपाल बायोस्फीयर रिजर्व एंड अदर टूरिस्ट प्लेस आर द सीताकुंड एंड लुलुंग दे आर ऑल्सो द वाटरफॉल रीजन सर देन द जगन्नाथ टेंपल लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ टेंपल इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड द सेकंड श्री क्षेत्र ऑफ ओडिसा सर बारीपदा इट्स रीजन सर अच्छा जो टूरिस्ट प्लेस मानक ऊपर डिस्कस करले मानक र किछ इकोनॉमिक सिग्निफिकेंस अछि डू दे ऐड समथिंग टू द इकोनॉमी डू दे ऐड सम वैल्यूज टू द इकोनॉमी ऑफ अ प्लेस ब्यूटीज एंड अदर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस ऑल्सो so the tribal population also the mankadia and khadia that are also they are depending on the forest of similbal for their economy and uh, they are the producer of the i mean forest fibers and uh, sir so, uh, other forest products also so they are uh, basically they are contributing to the msme sectors most of the time and uh, so the tourist place also the tourism is the main attraction of that area so they can uh, contribute to a economy um, can you focus on the problems faced by the tribal community just because of covid 19 pandemic in the last two and half years impact of covid 19 pandemic on the tribal life so uh, uh, Tri uh, due to lockdown, sir, tribal people, uh, I mean, uh, sir, they are not uh, able to, I mean, they are not able to realize that what is the problem going on, and now uh, what sudden suddenly the, uh, I mean, every sector uh, remains stuck. They cannot come to the township and uh, uh, for their daily livelihood for their work, so which they. Are, on the daily basis they depend on it so economic problem they have faced on most of the cases sir okay any uh, feedback about uh, uh, disaster management like last covid 19 pandemic ko kem the better manage kara jai paribo any feedback about that no sir covid 19 mane amko एडा सिखेला कि लाइक सर इज फॉर आई एम ए बायोलॉजी स्टूडेंट आई कैन से दैट द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट एंड द बायोडायवर्सिटी शुड बी द मेन फोकस 
that's how the covid 19 i mean come into act uh, because it is in the wuhan itself they are uh, eating the i mean wild animals like uh, so that is vajrakata and all so we need to focus on what we are eating is the uh, main i mean what is the food item we should eat the domestic animal which are producing in a purpose of eating that's only we can uh, depend on that uh, as our food not on the wild animals sir, or on the any harm okay, to okay, on the okay, environment got it. got it thank you very yes, much so this is the end of your yes. interview let's discuss about some of the feedbacks right मोस्ट इम्पोर्टाट पार्ट जो आरंभ रू आप कहले कि योर हबी इज आनिमल फिडिंग फिडिंग टू द आनिमल स्ट्रिक्ट डग्स एंड अल से समय मुझे जालिकाटी पर गोटे क्वेश्चन पचारि दैट इज अ डिसीसन मेकिंग क्वेश्चन व्वेदर इट सुड बैंड और नट सो डिसीसन मेकिंग क्वेश्चन आपर्सनालीटी और क्यारेक्टर को जज कर बहुत इंपोर्टां इंटरव्यू में सो डिसन मेकिंग क्वेश्चन में केवी कहे नहीं कि सरी सर आई डोट नो इनके सब फैक्ट फिगर इनके सब कनसेप्ट यू कैन यूज दिस मुझे जानी नहीं और आई एम लिटरली सॉरी आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकलेक्ट इट राइट नाउ बट डिसीसन मेकिंग रे केबे कहबे नहीं कि सर मुझे जानी नहीं यू हैव टू गिव अ डिसीजन डिसीजन किछ भूल बा ठीक नथा है बट यू हैव टू सब्सटेंशिएट योर डिसीजन लेट्स से अपन जल्दी कट रो फॉर रे कहबे बाय अगेंस्ट रे कहबे फॉर रे कहले यू हैव टू सब्सटेंशिएट काहे कि कहबे को चाहु चंती अगेंस्ट रे कहले यू हैव टू सब्सटेंशिएट काहे कि जल्दी कट को बैन करबे को चाहु चंती डिसीजन मेकिंग क्वेश्चन बहुत इंपोर्टेंट अपन का पर्सनालिटी को जज करिवारे सो मोर पर्सनल व्यू एथरे मु देबी कि अपन केबे भी मना करिवेनि कि सर ये क्वेश्चन मु जानि नि बा ये क्वेश्चन आंसर मु देई परनि ठीक अछि फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट एटा को रेक्टिफाई करिवे जे डिसीजन मेकिंग क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली पतर जाय मैक्सिमम कैंडिडेट को पतर जाय देन सेकंड पॉइंट अ लिटिल बिट वॉइस मॉड्युलेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड गोटे आई थिंक फिजिकली जते बेला अपन देबे इंटरव्यू सेटा बोध ठीक हे जिवो तो गोटे रूम रे बसि जंदि समस्त को सुन समस्त सुनि परथवा दरकार लेट से अपन आंसर दो चंदी आंसर देला बेला आई कांटेक्ट आ गुटे इंपोर्टेंट फैक्टर लेट से देयर आर फोर पर्सन इनसाइड द इंटरव्यू हॉल चार ही जण करू जदी अपन 2 मिनट आंसर दो चंदी जे क्वेश्चन पचार चंदी ताकु टिके अधिक समय आई कांटेक्ट रखिबे और जो माने रेस्ट ऑफ द मेंबर रहले से मानन को आउ किछ किछ समय आई कांटेक्ट रखिबे आई कांटेक्ट गुटे बहुत बडो इंपोर्टेंट फैक्टर ठीक अछि आ गुटे कहले अपन को टिके वॉइस मॉड्युलेशन हबो पाका पाकी ठीक अछि और टिके ट्राई करले केबे अछि अपन को इंटरव्यू सर 23 सर 23 सो यू हैव टाइम और अच्छी पाका पाकी 7 दिन 8 दिन अच्छी यू कैन प्रिपेयर वेल ठीक अच्छी अपन से टाइम पीरियड भीतर okay. निजो को प्रिपेयर कर परबे इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट यदि डाउट आसे यू कैन गेट बैक यू कैन रीच टू द अन एकेडमी टीम राइट सो वी शुड गुड लक ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सर थैंक यू Please join with computer audio. You are not audible, ma'am. Yes, you are connecting to the audio. Please wait for a while. Now you are connected. Yes, you are audible very much. Please introduce yourself. Yes. Sir, basically, I am from Rawalpindi. And what is your name, please? Sir, my name is Rishmita Pradhan. Basically, I am from Rawalpindi, and I have uh, completed my graduation from S J Women's College, Rawalpindi. And after that, I did my PG from Khalikot College, Barampur. I have also done B A from a private university, and I was working with Royal College of Science and Technology for one and half years as a lect- lecturer there. And uh, after that, uh, since 2020, I am preparing for civil services. Okay. What about your family? So my family resides in Rawalpindi. My father is a uh, Rawalpindi steel plant employee. He works as a senior operator there. I have a younger brother who is uh, now uh, doing MBA in Asian School of Business Management, and my mother is a housewife. Okay. What are your hobbies? So my hobbies are watching movies, and uh, at times I like drawing. Okay.
right 1994 re india ro jone miss universe hetle tankar na kon sir sushmita sen okay what is the difference between miss world and miss universe So Miss Universe uh, has a wider scope uh, in comparison to Miss World. Miss Wider. Then what is Miss uh, Earth? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So you basically belong to Rahul Kela, right? And your father is an yes. employee of Rahul Kela. He is working in uh, Rahul Kela Steel Plant, right? Yes, sir. What are your optional papers? Sir, geology and agriculture. Sorry, geology and agriculture, sir. Agriculture, fine. So you have completed your post graduation from Collicott University. Yes, sir. What are your subjects? Sir, uh, I did PG in Geology only. PG in Geology. And B.Ed from? Sir, B.Ed uh, Acharya Nagarjuna, private university. Acharya Nagarjuna University. Currently, you are working as a teacher, or uh, as a lecturer? In no, sir. I was working, um, but since 2020, I am not working. Now, you are preparing only for civil service examination. Yes, sir, but I am taking some private classes in some institutes of, uh, to take out my expenses, not as the regular teacher. Okay, that's great. That's great. So, uh, in case of teacher education, what are the reforms that you think we should adopt in India? Sir, uh, teachers, teacher education... Uh, means the in total if we take the education sector into consideration now uh, Delhi is doing a very commendable job like uh, they are transforming the government uh, schools like uh, all private uh, like private facilities are there and I think that model will be put up in all across India in all the states mm -hmm. so we are more uh, in India, the education is more for in the books. But rather, we need some vocational education. We need to um, means, uh, show some light on that. So we need to train our people more hmm. uh, rather than being only books on books. As a teacher, how do you see NEP, New Education Policy? In as a teacher, how do you see NEP, New Education Policy, in democratizing education? Sir, I find the national education policy to be, means it, it is upgraded as uh, some degrees which were not um, so much fruitful like M3 degree which was removed. Uh, some of the um, steps they have taken, it is good like the, the education system of 2 plus 3 and 3 and all that. Do you think the mushrooming of private educational institutions deteriorates the quality of education in India? Sorry, sir. If there is a private educational institute in India, do you think that the quality of India is compromised in the quality of education? Sir, I think the quality of education is compromised in the quality of education. Okay. So people with having money, they are more prone to like to join to the educational private educational institution, and I find that the the, which the amount or ambit of labor and the hard work if uh, a student has to do to join an educational institution of a government one is uh, very much less than a, a student trying to take admission in a private institution. So it becomes very easy for each and one of the students to take admissions there. So I think uh, the private and it is also in nowadays the private education institutions are not getting filled up. The seats are not getting filled up. Okay. Do you think we should go back to Vedas? We should go back to Upanishads and we should include it in the school curriculum to revitalize our educational system? 
so if we want to build the, the ethics and morality in our students and uh, the behavioral changes or the knowledge about our the religion and vedas and all that then we need to incorporate the vedas and upanishad teachings okay fine so uh, agriculture is uh, one of your optional subject yes sir what do you mean by supply chain management in agriculture so supply chain management uh, starts from when a product is uh, means it is being uh, it is on the way to deliver to the market it gets to go through a lot of uh, means chains like from the pro producer to and so that means from producer or the field to plate there are uh, there are a lot of things which uh, the product has to go through and the managing the uh, supply of the produce is called the supply chain management like we are having perishable products non perishable products and the perishable products they need to be handled more efficiently like in if we talk about the supply chain management that is uh, the cold chain or the cold storages which are more of needed so that we can manage our products when it and it can be easily or in the same manner in which it was produced that can be Um, means sent to the plate of the consumer. Okay, how can you use technology in the field of agriculture or to improve the productivity, to improve the production, to improve the double the farmer's income? How can I use technology in the field of agriculture? So technology has a vast role to play in terms of agriculture as. Uh, as the agriculture more people are into agriculture but the output or the productivity takes a lot of time when we talk about manual labor but in case of the machines which are used in the fields that reduces the manual labor and gives more of the output what are the technologies that we can use what are different types of technology you can use in agriculture so so starting from uh, if i can give you example that uh, the cloud seeding technology mm -hmm. where where the place where we don't have rain so by using the cloud seeding technology we can uh, means bring water there to the agriculture field so that we can have in adverse situations and also the farming techniques and the machines which have come uh, which uh, which you know, lessens the manual labor so you can use mechanical technology you can use information communication technology you can use biotechnology right? from farm studying from farm mechanization and uh, and using all of them on the digital media digital platform we can use also that in agriculture for buying and selling of products for sending the farmers uh, okay. about the knowledge about the use. how can we use biotechnology in the field of agriculture so biotechnology can be so biotechnology generally refers to a technology which alters the means the biotic or the gene part of an organism or it may be a plant or so generally we use this technology in case of hybrids or where we can like so like potato and tomato we have a pomato variety mm -hmm. that is for a hybrid and biotechnology likes a bt cotton we have and bt bringer which is not in use but we were trying on that also so biotechnology can be used to means alter the gene and we can get the beneficial one the beneficial variety like we are having in golden rice and uh, where we can enhance the vitamin a part okay and are about the genetically modified crops gm crops so gm crops uh, genetically modified crops are uh, where in use or uh, it was uh, urged to grow more of gm crops uh, so that their sustainability their size and the variety we wanted in that or the whatever whatever extra nutrients or whatever we wanted so we were up to uh, growing up gm crops but the genetically modified crops were not found to be so much suitable in the in human a uh, consumption for us now but research is still going on r&d is continuing on that so that we can be able to produce more of gm crops in future which gm crop is allowed in india 
So mustard, I think, sir. I'm not sure. Sorry. Bitty cotton. Yes, sir. Bitty cotton is allowed. Okay. Are you uh, aware about the type of soil known as the Kerala soil? Soil, sir. There is a soil type of soil which is basically available in Jammu Kashmir, Kerala soil. Kerala soil. Sir, so it will it is for uh, growing of saffron or for yes, saffron yes. cultivation that soil. Saffron, yes, apricot, peach cultivation. This is famous for all yes, these What are the crops which are well grown in your district? Sir, uh, crops like uh, rice, groundnut, maize, wheat. Okay. What are your views related to doubling farmers' income? By 2022. So doubling farmers' income is the means the with the aim we are going today. Uh, to everywhere, but means the when the product comes from the field and it comes to the consumer, the farmers are not getting the adequate price or the input they put in the crops. So there is a need. It is a need of the hour that we empower our farmers more, so that their income can be doubled and and their and the interest in them of uh, growing crops or doing agriculture sustains because due to the loss in their income they are not I mean, they are not more no more interested in doing agriculture people are shifting to urban areas they are uh, not doing agriculture so with the whole ambit of doubling the farmers income where we have uh, the schemes going on uh, that will add on to the uh, Uh, the income of the farmers. Okay. What are the causes of farmer suicide in India? So causes of uh, farmer suicide. First one, uh, uh, which is now it is little reduced. That is, uh, there was a what we call the middleman was there, which was taking all the credits, and uh, and the farmer were not able to get the input price which they used to give to their crops. And uh, so, and uh, sometimes the climatic conditions, which also uh, means they become adverse, and they means don't support the farmers like rain and all. And sometimes it happens. It so happens that we are uh, scarcity of uh, there is a scarcity of rainfall, and sometimes over rainfall and climatic conditions and our the and now at times we don't have the techniques to manage them till now. So the farmer suicides are. Uh, and you to this okay well. so uh, one is for uh, one of your hobby is mo- watching movies right yes so uh, nowadays different web series they are in the ott yes, platform sir. they are emerging right any web series yes, that you have watched last time yes sir delhi crime sorry sir delhi crime okay delhi crime So, uh, what are the disadvantages of this web series? What Sir, are the disadvantages? I mean, particularly, I want to know about the negative impact on the society. Sir, negative impact. There are certain web series which uh, enlighten us, but the at the same time, there are certain web series where the people get uh, means the people get uh, knowledge about doing some certain types of crimes. So I can tell you one case that uh, a man was uh, killing all the watchmen. That is also in the series. But and he, when he was asked that why do you do so, he said that I had I had seen this in a web series or a movie, and I was trying to means do the same thing. So we can say that it has also some impact in increasing the crime rates also. Yes. So the same thing happened in in case of uh, after the movie Pushpa, right? Same crime in, increased in southern India. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. I think uh, you are aware about mm-hmm. it. So these are the negative influence of uh, movies and the web series on the society, right? Yes. Anyway, fine. So this is the end of your interview. Let's talk about some of the feedbacks, right? Uh, Thank you. So the most important part is you are quite natural. 
जहाँ भी क्वेश्चन पचारे आप नाचुराली आंसर दौरान मोस्ट इम्पोर्टां पार्ट आईटा बहुत पजिट पॉइंट पजिट इम्पैक्ट आपर इंटरव्यू बोर्ड उपर रही है सो डिशन मेकिंग टाइप क्वेश्चन हो फैक्ट फिगर हो आनालीसी हो क्वेश्चन अप्सनाल हो क्वेश्चन जीएस आंगेल हो सोसाइटी उपर क्वेश्चन हो टेक्निकाल क्वेश्चन हो पाखापाखी सब क्वेश्चन को आंसर दौरान बहुत भल भाव में न्याचुराली आंसर दौरान मोस्ट इम्पोर्टां पार्ट एंड रेस्ट पार्ट Uh, rest part is about the posture and gesture. I think in the physical uh, interview, जो तो बड़ा अपन physical interview देवे, से समर इटे ठीक है जीवो, अपन उनको and uh, eye contact, आप उटे point कोई भी interview board से तो ठीक है eye contact रखी हुए, जो तो उटे question answer दो चंदे, हम तो नहीं जे जो जी पोचेर चंदे board member तो आपको इन चाहिए अपन खाली answer दो चंदे, और यादर समझते हैं कुछ time divide करके answer देवे, जी पोचेर चंदे उनके वैसे समय eye contact रखी हुए, अलगा member जो माने पोचेर ही � राइट एंड रेस्ट अबाउट द ग्रीटिंग्स जे तो आपण एंट्री करचो दी फर्स्ट नॉक द डोर देन टेक द परमिशन एक्सक्यूज मी सर मे आई प्लीज कम इन बुझी पाले कोन कहबे फर्स्ट नॉक द डोर तापर पचारिबे एक्सक्यूज मी सर मे आई प्लीज कम इन जे तो भीतर को जाउचंती तापर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून जहा भी कहउचंती खाली कहिबे नी ता सहित नमस्कार भी करबे एंटी नमस्कार करबा सहित पहिला गुड मॉर्निंग और गुड आफ्टरनून बहुचे कथा जानिथिबे आपण नेक्स्ट जेपर्स में आपन को बोर्ड कहीं ना आती सेपर्स में आपन बॉसी बनी चेयर रहे बॉसी लाप कहीं लाप परे बॉसी में बॉसी साला परे थैंक यू फॉर द चेयर कहीं भी बोर्ड को ठीक है जी तब पर जहाँ क्वेश्चन पर तभी बोर्ड बोटे पर गुड आंसर देना सो दिस दिस आर द नॉर्मल पोस्टर एंड गेस्टर ठीक है लास्ट लाइफ परे तो अपन इंटरव्यू सॉरी जाऊँ ची लास्ट को कहीं कैसे भी कि दिस इज़ वन ऑफ़ द नाइस इंटरव्यू मो लाइफ टाइम में जब तक इंटरव्यू दे थी वन ऑफ़ द बेस्ट इंटरव्यू और द बेस्ट इंटरव्यू ऑफ़ माय लाइफ कोई पहले नेक्स्ट पार्ट आप उनको जो देखो कि जो पचारी वाला चाय ऊपर पचारा हूँ सर ड्रेस कोड मैंने ठीक अच्छी की साड़ी कुछ स्विच करी भी सर देखो तो जो तेरे अपन कंफर्टेबल अपन सेम ड्रेस कोड पिन्दों तो सो सैलवर भी पिन्दी पारी भी ये भी फॉर्मल ड्रेस कोड रह जाऊँ चाहे बंग साड़ी मध्यो फॉर्मल ड्रेस कोड रह जाऊँ जो तेरे अपन बेसिक स्विटेबल जो तेरे अपन बेसिक कंफर्टेबल फॉर्मल ड्रेस कंप्लीटली पिंधी के जीवे नुआ पिंधी वाला कौनो से आवश्यकता नहीं जहाँ को पुरबोरो जो ड्रेस पिंधी थी वे सेम ड्रेस पिंधे ठीक है ठीक है आओ किसी क्वेश्चन सर मैंने हाथों हैंड पोस्टर करी है मैंने नर्वस के लिए टाइम लेके हाथों करी है पोस्टर अपन एम्प्टी चेयर ऊपर जोड़ पोस्टर दी चेयर जो क्योंकि दी हाथ तो इम्तिहाज जोड़ी की बस में इम्तिहाज करीब नहीं बाय इम्तिहाज करीब नहीं जब दी हाथ तो अच्छा अपनों को बढ़तवान सेम दी बस पड़ी आओ किसी नमस्ते थैंक यू ओके विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फ्रॉम टीम ऑन एकेडमी एंड होप पर द बेस्ट इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट यू कैन कम बैक टू अस राइट Yeah. Mm -hmm.